Today was what is known as Super Tuesday 2. It's the sequel to Super Tuesday 1. There were primaries in six states today. Um, as of uh, at this hour, Biden uh, won Mississippi, Missouri, and Michigan. The three Democrats still running are Joe Biden, Bernie Sanders, and I guess in case they don't survive the coronavirus because they're all Tulsi Gabbard. Does Tulsi Gabbard know she's still in the race? I feel it's like one of those things where you forget to cancel your health club membership. <laughs> So Biden and Bernie both canceled rallies today because of coronavirus. The Trump campaign is saying they are going to keep going. They're going to proceed normally, which would be a first. <laughs> President Trump told reporters today he's not been tested for the coronavirus, but he does have syphilis. And he wants... No, he said... <laughs> he didn't have... He said he wasn't tested, but in, and he plans to continue shaking hands and it assured us that his immune system is perfect. Many are calling it the most beautiful immune system ever created. <laughs> The White House says they have everything under control, uh, which must be why they've delayed the release of a report from the Director of National Intelligence that says the United States is not prepared to handle a pandemic. One possible reason we might not be prepared is back in 2018, Trump fired the entire U.S. pandemic response team <laughs> to save money. But he has a plan. This morning, he commented on a tweet, going up fast, we need the wall more than ever. This is to a retweet from a guy who thinks the wall can help control the virus, which, by the way, there are almost a 1,000 cases reported of coronavirus in America. You know how many there are in Mexico? Less than 10. So he's right. The wall would help to protect them from us, OK? <laughs> the president's new chief of staff is under quarantine. Mark Meadows, he just started his job. He's working from home now. There are congressmen in quarantine. Senator Ted Cruz put himself under quarantine. He's out of the public eye for two glorious weeks. And today, the local Center for Disease Control issued a special warning about that. <clears throat> Good morning. As you know, Senator Ted Cruz is under self-quarantine after coming in contact with COVID-19. Early research suggests this viral strain may have originated in bats. And as we know, Senator Cruz is a bat-like creature who lurks in darkness and is covered in parasitic worms. That is why we are urging the coronavirus to get tested. Coronavirus, if you display any symptoms of infection as a result of contact with Ted Cruz, which include excessive sweating, oozing sludge, or an uncontrollable desire to post your favorite pornos on Twitter, we urge you to seek immediate medical treatment. Thank you. So the tables have really turned on this. People are very worked up. This is causing a lot of anxiety. This is how some parents in Memphis, Tennessee are handling the situation. And don't nobody want their child to be sick. And don't nobody want to take their virus to their house. Parents with children at Treadwell Middle and elementary schools are not playing around. Many wiped their kids down, and some even sprayed them with disinfectant spray as they took them home Monday. And I wiped my children's backpack down when I got them out of school. Sure did, gave them gloves. Sure did. Some took more extreme measures. It's messed up. The flu killing my old folks and them here, so that's it. We're going to die anyway. <laughs> Mom, you are not dropping me off at school today with that bag on your head. <laughs> the coronavirus is also having an impact on America's game shows. Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy announced they will tape without a studio audience, which I tell you what, for a show named Jeopardy, they're surprisingly risk averse. <laughs> it's, Jeopardy without an audience would be weird, but even weirder would be no audience on The Price is Right. Here it comes. The Price is Right. David Sahagan, come on down. Paul Lair, come on down. Tammy Bander, come on down. Greg Richardson, come on down. You're the first contestant on The Price is Right. And now, here's your host, They are not taking any chances at all. There are uh, cancellations all over the country. Harvard is sending students home. They're switching to virtual classes for the rest of the semester. The Coachella and Stagecoast Music Festivals have been postponed in Las Vegas. They're closing the buffets, uh, which that's... Now, this is when it's serious for me. <laughs> not everyone is letting the virus rain on their parade, though. The, the really important events, you will be happy to know, will still go on as scheduled. 
And despite the uh, threat of the virus, plenty of mass gatherings still taking place. Western France, for example, thousands of people gathered yesterday to break the world record for the largest ever gathering of Smurfs. Right. That's Gargamel's evil plan is finally coming together. Uh, you know, I've been trying to do something to help slow the virus. It's called the L bump, and it's re it is catching on. You can see here, even Prince Harry is doing the L. Is he still Prince Harry, or is he just a guy named Harry now? I don't know, but <laughs> this is interesting. The Dutch prime minister uh, is L bump friendly too. He held a press conference yesterday to announce their new no handshake policy. Stoppen we met handen schudden. Dus u kunt uh, voet zoenen, u kunt elleboog stoten, wat u ook wilt. Uh, ik zie op scholen allerlei prachtige varianten op het handen schudden al ontstaan. Uh, maar wij stoppen vanaf vandaag met handen schudden. Oh, sorry, dat mag niet meer. Sorry, sorry. Nee, nee, oh, oh, over, over, over. Ik wil ook nog wel. Zo, ja. Ja, yeah. yeah, Lindy made it nine seconds before violating that. It's hard. I don't know if you noticed, but... Everyone now seems to think they're an expert on the coronavirus, me included. I'm, I know everything. I get in a group of people, I speak as if I have been a professor of immunology at Stanford for 35 years. Everybody seems to know at least something about this now. And knowledge, as you know, is power. So to share some of that knowledge, to spread it around, we went out in the street, we asked people passing by our studio today to tell us what they know about the coronavirus. We're just out here talking to people about the coronavirus. Oh, um, OK, yeah. So what do you know? I know that it's bad. Um, I know it's new. <laughs> um, I don't know if you could drink soup and it'll go away. It seems to be very popular. What do you know about the coronavirus? It's the first time me hearing about it. Explain it to me. Explain it to me. Well, I don't know nothing about the coronavirus. What does it do? What do you know about the coronavirus? Uh, we've been giving that shot to our cattle for years. <laughs> coronavirus vaccine for cattle scours. Really? So it's been around forever. If you eat cattle cubes when you're a kid and lick salt, you're safe. How many people have the coronavirus? Uh, like a million? I don't know, but a lot. Can you tell us everything you know about the coronavirus? I'm not too worried about it. Uh, the president said it's just going to go away someday, so um, you know it's not really that critical of a deal. I know it makes you cough, and it's kind of like pneumonia. How is it different from pneumonia? I don't know. That's just what my dad said. So. How is it different from the flu? Um, well, it doesn't have to. That's a good question. I don't know. Um, what are you going to stock up on? Uh, I like wine and toilet paper and soap. Do you think that we should be scared? If you're nasty, you should be. If you're not washing your hands, taking care of yourself, being clean, not covering your mouth when you cough and sneeze, if you just let that, all that oxygen just flow out in the air, then you should be scared. Because I got a roommate, he never covers his cough. I always had to call him out, boy, cover your mouth. Like, I always have to go, get on him. What do you know about the coronavirus? Um, there's someone from my town that went to a father-daughter dance and got a bunch of other people sick. What were they sick with? Um, the coronavirus, they literally have it. Luckily, okay, get away from us. Get away. <laughs> no, 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 seriously, go. Go away. All right. Go! All right. All right, you know, get your panic rooms, everybody. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. An evil wizard has trapped me inside this YouTube video. Click subscribe to help me escape.